Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm doing an unboxing and a quick review and comparison of the new Rocat Kone EMP uh, RGB gaming mouse. Uh, I'm uh, excited about this uh, because it's uh, their brand new uh, series. Uh, it's based on the previous generation of mice. This is its predecessor, the uh, Kone XTD Optical. Uh, but it's got the new Owl Eye optical sensor uh, that is uh, made with, in conjunction with the PixArt uh, MPW3366 uh, based on that tweaked a little bit to be in the sweet spot of the DPI range which is I think for uh, 100 to uh, 2000 or, or 3000 that, that, as they say in their website but uh, usually players are between 400 to 2000 max and that's the sweet spot that uh, they want to play with uh, this mouse here on the box says uh, it's Swarm compatible, works with the Swarm uh, software. Um, a 16.8 million colors RGB, ergonomic right hand. It is a right hand, a two stripe RGB illumination right here. Uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Uh, anyway, DPI. So that's what the box is. Just uh, quickly, it talks about the Swarm and the new optical sensor. Uh, just going to make a comment about the uh, box itself. Uh, and uh, I will compare it to the uh, box on the uh, Koenig XTD Optical. Previous box came German engineering uh, with a little tab over here. You could open, read it, actually kind of feel the mouse, the size and all that in your hand before you even buy it at the store. It has a little magnet right here uh, and close it right here. It's a beautiful box. And uh, Rocat, like always, and uh, they keep deceiving me every time. They went cheap on this one with the little box. There's, it doesn't open. There's no nothing. So um, and it doesn't change the uh, the thing of the mouse, but it gives an indication maybe they're going cheaper. So let's see if the mouse also has that characteristic. So like I said, this is based on the Pixar. The owl, uh, owl eye sensor is based on the Pixar uh, 3366, the same that comes into the Proteus, Logitech Proteus uh, G502. And then uh, base, I'm going to show you also what comes in the box. Only that. Uh, stickers, a couple of books and stuff, and that's what it is. At least it gave you stickers. In my previous ones, I didn't have stickers. So uh, let's see the difference with the, well, let's see the mouse first, right? So this is the mouse. Um, it feels plasticky. I'm going to see if you can uh, hear it. So let's see the buttons here, what they sound like. That's what it is, all right? So uh, so let's make some comments right here real quick uh, and compare with the XTD, see what's the difference, what you get. And one of the questions that people would ask is, uh, is it worth, uh, if I have the XTD optical, changing to the EMP? So some of the differences are uh, the, uh, the material is different. Uh, this here is plasticky. Uh, here is, is a rubberized uh, material. It feels much better in hand uh, with the XTD because it, it the rubber makes it easier to grab the mouse. The top part of the mouse also is rubberized. This one is straight under plastic. It feels cheap. Um, also, uh, on the side, if you can see some of the things on the side here, uh, on the edge here in the bottom, there's nothing on the EMP. On the XTD, there is some kind of a, a bevel there. So it, it helps you pick up the mouse uh, on the XTD. The AMP does not have that, don't know why. And uh, they should have kept it because I, th I, I, I like it, but uh, it doesn't make a difference. Some people uh, prefer it or not. So uh, this is uh, some of the differences here. Uh, they ditched on the EMP, they ditched the, uh, the button here, the menu button. Nobody uses that during game. You can never reach it anyway. You're not gonna go in far reach. So that's a good thing that they removed it. Uh, on the uh, DPI switch buttons, I like the fact that it's uh, they didn't put the white stuff, so it cooks uh, uh, sleeker like that. I like this uh, with that. Uh, the scroll wheel on this one, the scroll wheel is uh, it, it, the, the rubber was narrower on this one. If you can see, it's narrower, and uh, it it's more difficult to uh, to sc uh, scroll the wheel. Uh, on the new one, on the MP, they have the same style mouse as the Naval, uh, you know, Kony Pure Naval Edition. Uh, so it's got the wider rubber uh, area. So I really like the scroll wheel on this one. 
and the EMP is very similar to that. So I think it's uh, it, it's an improvement. So I love this scroll wheel. Uh, it's lighter. Uh, the weight of this mouse, uh, I weighted them. Uh, it's 116 gram on the EMP, and it is 118 grams on the XTD optical. Uh, without with the little pad on the bottom, but without any additional weights. That's a difference between the two as well. The EMP cannot have the additional weights. Okay, so obviously the feet are going to be a little different. So you can see the difference in the feet of the two different mice. So this is some of the differences as well. Uh, some difference that uh, I really like on the EMP too is the the cord. It's obviously a braided cord, uh, just like the XTD had. But the braided cord on the uh, EMP is very soft, so if you move around, the mouse is not going to move. Like after the bend, if you do the same thing with this, with the uh, the XTD, you can see it it will move. Uh, try to do that with this one; it's not going to work. So that's I, I like that. And if you take the Naval Edition, that cable is so stiff that barely you can pull it from far. So uh, this is uh, some of the difference here. Uh, let's talk about the, the RGB strips there. Uh, I wish that Rocat would have taken them completely out uh, altogether. Don't like these at all. Uh, I think they should have done is get the uh, illumination of the Koenig CD of the logo. Make that happen on this uh, on the EMP. Keep the rub they should have kept the rubberized feel all over. Uh, they, they didn't do that and with plastic feels it feels a little cheap in hand. I've got to say that. Uh, so the, the rubberized part of this is better. They took the uh, the scroll wheel of the Kone Pure. This is a great thing. Uh, so if they would have removed that, keep the, the thing black, rubberized with the logo illuminating, that mouse would be a killer. Uh, it is not, however, unfortunately. It's a great mouse, but it's it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. So uh, this is the, uh, the difference here. One of the things that is different as well and is the fact that the travel on the when you click the mouse and I will try to get near the microphone but it, it's it the, the EMP's got a longer travel and on the way back it makes a noise on the way back this one on the XD it doesn't so uh, these are some differences as well so maybe in game having a longer travel maybe it's gonna give you a disadvantage uh, one of the things that I can say right now is that the sensor on the XTD is darn good and uh, the sensor on the EMP is very good, uh, extremely good. So this is why there's a little upswing on this one, so a little better, but not that much. So uh, this is some of the uh, of the differences between the two mice. So, uh, one of, so if you want to know should I convert from my XTD to this one, eh, I wouldn't do it. So the sensor is better on this on the EMP. So sensor wins on the EMP. Dimension, they're exactly the same dimension. Uh, you know, millimeter per millimeter. So there, there's no difference between the two. The material on the EMP feels cheaper, plasticky, feels cheaper. This one is rubberized on the top and on the sides. Uh, it feels better, it feels more quality. The clicks also make uh, a better quality sound. Uh, just like when you close the door of a luxury car, it ma makes a sound like poof. When you close a, a, an old Hyundai Pony Hyundai, and then we make a clingy sound. So that's the difference. This one feels, sounds like quality. This one sounds more clicky. Uh, so I prefer the sound and, and the switches on the XTD. Um, that's some it is. Uh, the built in general, they're still very two good mice. Don't get me wrong. This one is a little lighter, so the game's going to be a little better. The cord is better on the EMP, so for the cord, it wins. On the software, I'm going to show you real quick, but the software is uh, fairly the same, but the XTD had its own software, uh, and I'm going to see here if I can uh, show you what I right after. Uh, overall look, uh, I think both mice look very nice. I think that the, the darker theme on this one makes it uh, look better on the EMP, so I will give an advantage. Overall experience, they're both the same. They're exactly about the same. Uh, I think this feels more quality. This one's got a better sensor. Overall, they're about the same. So all in all, uh, this scroll wheel is better than this one, less than that. So overall, they're they're equal. All right. So uh, if you want to, you know, if you like Rocat and you say, oh, I've got a, the new mouse, want to run to the store and buy a new one, uh, don't. Uh, if you have an XTD optical, keep playing with that. Uh, that's pretty good. If this if it's dying, then go and, and get the new EMP. Then that's going to be uh, worth it. All right. I'm just going to jump real quick and go into the uh, the software itself. 
Uh, if you go with uh, the EMP, uses the Swarm software, which is the software that uh, you can have. It's like Corsair with the CUE or Razer. Uh, it's got their own uh, Synapse. And where they put all, you can control all the devices from one, uh, one uh, software, right? One program. So this is here. I've got, uh, I created my own profile. CSGO, it shows you here for the profile, the color theme that I chose. Uh, this is, uh, you know, all the different settings, sensitivity, vertical, horizontal, double click. I don't touch that. I changed my DPI. When you change the DPI, you can have, if you go in advanced settings, you can go uh, put the DPI switch to have their sound feedback. So if you change that, like I did, you're going to hear it. 600 DPI, 800 DPI. Going to make a, a reference to the other one uh, with the XTD. I prefer the, the creepy voice on the XTD. 600 DPI, 800 DPI, 1000 DPI, 1200 DPI, 400 DPI, 600 DPI. Go. So, uh, all right, let me put 1000 DPI, 800 DPI, 600 right. DPI. So this is where you do that. Uh, button assignment. This is where you can change that for my CSGO profile. I got three for reload and the scroll wheel. I put easy shift for all my devices. I've got the Raya SMKFX, so they can work together. When you click on easy shift, you can easy shift on the mouse and do the the, the key on the keyboard. But this is my Corsair, but you can do that on your uh, Rocat uh, keyboard. So that works well together, very well. Uh, six B42 to get my AK47 and auto exec. So that's all easy stuff to do. And uh, so the software is pretty good. Advanced setting. Uh, Pulling rate, DPI switch, profile switch, uh, low and high. This is one of the things that I think that on the XTD was better. This low and high, uh, it, there's you no, know, if you change it, it's obviously a distance is going to take, you know, and it's got auto apply, as you could see. But uh, low and high, this, there's nothing else. It's not going to calibrate with your uh, surface. Uh, if I take my XTD and I go my Roca talk here, XTD optical here, uh, config and open that. Hopefully, it's going to open in the right window. I've got multiple screens here. And there you go. So on this one, uh, it has a standalone software. Uh, it has more or less the same thing. Uh, button assignment, I like this better. It's, it's visually better for me. Uh, all the same thing here. Uh, and the only thing that I can see is that you had more uh, distant control unit. You had normal, low, extra low, or off. But when you change that, what I'm not going to change now, but it would actually tell you to, uh, you know, scroll the move the mouse on the uh, uh, on your mouse pad and it would calibrate it and i think it makes it uh, it makes me feel like it's more accurate uh so that's the difference so there are a couple of things here that are useless but overall it's about the same thing but i think the the the, the software standard software was more detailed or easier to use than the swarm but uh well more complex right more deep and more advanced uh so basically for the average user the uh, swarm might be easier to use uh, so that's uh, that's that could be a, also a positive as well, right? I did fight a little bit with here. The software wouldn't show me the colors if I was trying to change the colors. I uh, turned this, uh, the software off. But, uh, you know, I closed the software, uh, put it back on, and uh, reopened it, and then it worked just fine. So uh, that's what it is. So a conclusion here is that uh, there are two great mice. Um, if I had the choice, uh, you know, uh, I love Rocat. I'm a fanboy of Rocat. I was looking forward to that. I suck at CSGO. And I think it's the problem is the sensor, and the problem is, is the player is not the sensor. So, but I've seen a difference in CS:GO. I actually got more headshots with this one. Uh, first game I tried it, I saw the immediate difference. So, uh, more accurate, clearly more accurate. Uh, no, not clearly, fairly more accurate. Uh, this is still a great mouse. Play, you know, it, it's, it's going to do the job very well. But uh, you know, it's got its benefit. So. Uh, there it is. So that is the new Rocat uh, EMP mouse uh, review. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video and it helped you uh, decide if you're going to get it or not. Or wait for the Kony Pure 2017, which uh, seems to be also a pretty good mouse uh, when it comes out in April. So uh, if you enjoyed that video, please like it. If you dislike the content, uh, dislike, let me know why uh, with a comment. And if you haven't done so, uh, no, please uh, subscribe to my channel. All right. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Ciao.